So two, two children are back with their parents uh, and in the hospital right now just for observation. They are safe this morning. Remember, we've been following this story since Sunday. Braxton and Briah Williams, who disappeared from their front yard playing Sunday during a family barbecue. Miraculously, they were found safe more than 50 hours later. Their grandparents are joining us here right now. It's Roxanne Lloyd and her husband Clifford. Good morning. Good Thank morning. you for being here. I know when I saw you, I just had to, I felt like I just had to come up and hug you. Yes. Roxanne, let me start with you. How did you find out? Walk us through your reaction when you heard that they were safe. Oh, it was just, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It was just mind-blowing because, you know, we didn't know what to think because time was getting shorter. And, I mean, I don't know. Just so excited. You were at the house? Yes. Did someone call you? Did someone come to the house? No, um, I saw my son and Bianca, um, which is the mother, coming out of the house. And the lady in the neighborhood was behind them, and she was telling me to come here. And um, so I ran over, and he told me that he said he got a call from the newspaper first, yeah. saying that we they had been found called, yeah. you know, safe. Then he said the detective called next and told them that they had found the kids, and I, was, I just went ballistic. It was just, I don't know. Clifford, do you remember your reaction? Oh, yes, I was, everybody was happy, and I was crying, and everybody was hugging, and oh man, it, just, it was just a great feeling. I yes. never felt like that before in my life. Are, are you, have the kids ever mentioned this pump house where they were found before? No. Never no. mentioned it? No. So, and, and I know that you had told us that the kids know not to kind of wander off. What do you think happened? Have, have, they, have they said anything at the hospital or to your son no. about why they wandered off? No, no. We, I don't know. They just was curious, I guess. We all have been curious, you know. We want to try new things. So I know I'm not supposed to go out in the woods, but I think I want to go out the other day. But that's what I'm thinking happened. You think that's what happened? Yeah. And, and then Clifford, um, can you tell us a, a little bit about Braxton and Briya, the kind of kids they are? And, and obviously they must be pretty incredible that they were able to survive those conditions. There was rain, it was cold, it was hot for, for that long amount of time. And, and they generally just play in the yard and don't leave out of the yard. I, I just, you know, it just, it just happened, I mean. And how are they doing in the hospital? What can you tell us about their condition? Well, according to Brian, he said that they was all fine. They was making sure that, you know, everything was checked out good. Um, they're giving them IV fluids. So he said everything looked fine. So hopefully they'll be home today. So uh, I know that that because we have seen missing persons and missing children's cases before that have not ended with a good ending. Mm -hmm. Where were you in this sort of process a little bit? I mean, every hour that goes by, obviously it becomes more dire. What were you thinking, you know, in your mind? What were your worries about what had happened to the kids? I never felt like they was abducted. I just, I felt like they had wandered off somewhere, but not in the area right behind their house. But um, I never thought that somebody had took them. I just knew that they had wandered off. And Clifford, did you feel the same way or were you worried? You know, police came out and said, we now need help finding this white car and an older man and this car maybe playing children's music? Oh, I was a little confused, you know, and until uh, they, uh, they told us all about the, the woods and stuff and the search. I kind of felt a little better about it then. So you really then, it sounds like both of you were pretty confident then that the kids were, 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 had wandered off and it was just a matter of time finding them? Yes. I know you're kind of wiping your eyes a little bit. What's been the most emotional part of this for you? Not knowing where they were. I mean, just not knowing where they were. And then we knew that Braxton didn't have on a jacket because we thought he had a jacket on, but his daddy went in the house and found the jacket on the floor. So it was just, I was just worried, is he warm? I mean. We know they wasn't eating, drinking, but are they okay, you know? Have you had a chance to talk to them yet? Not yet. Or, and you haven't had a chance to see them yet? Not yet. Can't wait. If they're for some reason watching from their hospital room right now with mom and dad there, is there something you'd like to say to them? Yes. I want you to look right, right, right here at, at this camera, both of you. 
I would like to say Bryson and Briya, Granny and Grandpa, we love y'all. We glad that you're found. We on our way to the hospital to see you. And Clifford? Yes, well, we'll be there as soon as possible. <laughs> what will you do when you see them? I'm hugging and kissing. <laughs> Will you might ever let them, them go? I might not put them down. <laughs> and I do want to give you both an opportunity. Is there anything you'd like to say to the community that just rallied its arms around you and engulfed you and, and gave you the support, and now we have these babies home? Yes. I would like to say um, I thank everybody, all the firefighters, police department, the volunteers that came near and far, the prayers near and far, I mean, all the way up to Atlanta, New York, everywhere, people was praying, fasting for our babies. I just would like to thank everybody. I'm not calling no names because there's a lot of names to be <laughs> called, but everybody that showed a part in getting our babies back home, thank you, thank you, thank Clifford? you. And I thank God for all of them, everybody. Is this really what got you through it, your faith? Yes, yes. Faith. Thank you for being here. I know that you're anxious to get to that hospital. We appreciate you stopping yes. off yes. And, and visiting with us and telling us more. Please give them our love. We will. Please give them our we love. Will. We'll be right back.